everybody, I am Nico D. So today I'm going to review the Digitech Trio Plus. So this is a band in a box, so it can play a drum and it can play a bass line. So it is rather ingenious, I uh, really like it. So actually I just wanted something to play a drum line, but then I found this online. I saw this and I was amazed, I didn't know how it could work and so I wanted it. It is quite expensive, it is the most expensive pedal that I've got, but I think it is worth it. So uh, this was about uh, 200 euro and then I also bought this pedal, so this is just a foot switch. Uh, this is 30 euro, so together it's 230 euro. That is very expensive, that is more expensive than my guitar over here. So first let me explain how I've got my signal chain. So I've got my guitar here that is plugged into the Digitech Trio Plus over here. The middle connector. Uh, then I have got this going out and this goes to my looper, another looper. So this has got a looper and this is another looper but this can record 40 minutes per loop. This can only do 2 minutes per loop so uh, I can use that to record full songs uh, on that uh, with this. So then I go from there to my uh, amplifier and my amplifier is a Marshall Valve Estate 8080, so 80 watts. So uh, then there are a lot more cables, so then I have got here uh, my foot switch that is connected over here. Then I have got this cable that is connected to my computer, to my external sound card. So I don't know if you can see it. So here is my external sound card. And I have got uh, the Digitech directly straight uh, connected to my sound card. And uh, I also have got a microphone to record uh, my amplifier. So what else do I have got? So here this cable goes to the inputs of my effects. So my effect pedals are all separate, they are not in my direct chain. So the inputs, so the outputs, this goes to the first pedal of my effects pedals. And then the last pedal has the outputs over here. So the outputs for the effect pedals is actually over here. And this is the input for the effect pedals. So uh, why is this important to have our effect pedals separate? So when you try to learn a song to the Digitech Trio Plus, then it is best not to have any effects enabled. So uh, that is why it has got a separate uh, chain for the effect pedals. So it only listens to the clean sound of your guitar when you try to uh, learn something but you can still use your effects so you still hear your effects because they are in a separate chain so that is pretty important because if you use your effects straight directly into it then you will get gibberish certainly when you are using a delay pedal then it will get very strange so one thing that the Digitech Trio Plus is missing is a metronome so I bought this metronome this is an easy metronome, I can tap which tempo I want, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and I've got 118, and I can play with the metronome. I would have liked if they would have put a metronome inside of this, and also a click track to play on to record a song, because it is important that you stay in tempo of course, and my rhythm isn't that very good, so uh, for me it is important to use a metronome and certainly when you try to record full songs with different parts, so you can uh, program it, I will show you that later on, so when you try to record different parts, then it all needs to be in the same tempo, so for that you need a metronome. So I would have liked it if they had put a metronome inside of it and I would like a new version because this thing is 6 years old. So it is quite old and it is really cool that this can exist. So let's record our first song. So I've put in a new SD card so you get an SD card with it when you buy it. So this is a SanDisk SD card of 16 gigabytes. I don't know if you can see it, 
Probably not. So I put in another SD card of 16 GB because this one is completely full and I wanted to show you new things. So let's try to record something. Uh, let's do something with we just done blues. So let's do a Latin song. So I have got my headphones because uh, I listen to uh, the outputs uh, in my headphones. And I've got my Marshall amplifier for my guitar, as you can hear. So, uh, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it is 133. So I will keep this close to me so I see and hear uh, my metronome very good. So I don't actually need it. Because I don't need to hear anything yet from the Digitech Trio. So all you need to do to start recording is press this button. And then it will start listening. And it will start recording from the moment you play something. So that is very good. That is something I have troubles with with a normal looper pedal. So I am always... Uh, too late or too early to press the pedal and then the loop isn't correct with this that is a lot easier so certainly for beginners this is very good not for the super beginners but when you are just playing for a few years then this is great for you it is great for me too so and I play for more than 20 years so yeah so let's try to record this song. So uh, it is uh, something based on Santana. And let's make a full song out of it. We can do that. So.
pressed the wrong button. So that is it's that simple to record something. Just keep it simple when you start recording. So when you learn something, it is better to keep the chords simple like this. <laughs> With too much swing it will not recognize what it needs so just play the chords very simple it will not work if you just play the bass line that doesn't work and that is pretty shame because it would be easy to just play some bass lines on the guitar and then it would uh, recognize what it needs to play but it really needs full chords or power chords or good too so now we have recorded this part, so uh, let's record a second part. So for that the metronome is so important. So let's turn it on again so it is set to 130 just like the other parts. And now I need uh, the... so what is... to tell you so there are a lot of different styles so here we have got the genres now it is at latin so we have got blues there is r&b there is rock alt rock metal pop e-pop hip-hop country folk latin and jazz i've only used latin metal rock and blues but uh yeah the rest ain't useful for me i can't play no jazz and certainly country i can't play that so uh in all these uh, genres we have got uh, different styles so we can easily switch genres so now it is a latin part and now it is a hip-hop part with all different choices e-pop Now we have got both parts and now I can easily play the rhythm part on the looper. So I arm the looper and I start it. Okay, we have got these two parts, 
So sequence, the sequence is still programmed. So we have got recorded our first song. So let's turn on the click track. And now let's play some solos with effects. So that's it, that is a song, a full song, it is just two parts, but that is a song, so let me show you. Here we have got a button, and this is the song button, if we press this, then we can go to other songs, so this is song 2, so there are 12 songs possible on one SD card, and every song has got 5 uh, choices of uh, 5 parts to play. So let me choose this and here we have got also a song that I recorded. Is it? Yes. So that's a song that I just put online. So we can do this. just the same I was wrong so song number three here it is so here I have recorded a full song with uh, four different parts so part one let me turn this off the sequence so part one <laughs> the same but just a bit faster and we have got another part and the last part a full song uh, you can watch it I just uh, put it online so uh, let's try to record another song so let's go to an empty slot over here so what should we record we can record some metal yes so I am going to record first I yeah so one thing that I'm very happy about it is you can just play one part and then repeat it to rehearse a part so there is a solo in one song that I'm trying to learn so it is a, a new version of a solo I had an old version that was rather simple but it is a metal song so I wanted it a bit faster so I will show you how I rehearsed this so I don't need a metronome for this so let's put this metal out I will use a 
metronome. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, one hundred and forty. So. turn off that so I can hear my metronome one two three four one two three four My parts so this is where I play my solo in the parts so I will show you how I played my solo earlier and I will show you how I'm training to uh, play it a little bit faster and a little bit cooler so first normal solo show you how I'm trying to play it now With the fast parts and this is really easy to learn that part so I can just continue playing it so yeah, let's start it like this so I will play a few times the parts and it will always go worse and worse because my hands can't handle such fast parts again forgot to turn on my guitar
my hands can't handle that. I just learned to play such fast things, so uh, my hands need to get used to it. So uh, now I have one part of this song, we can record another part. So the beginning was... So let's use our metronome. Because the metronome is very important. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. show you what it is let me turn off the metronome One thing I forgot to tell you, so there is a knob over here and that knob has got effects, so every genre has got its own effects. So now I am using the effects of, uh, of metal and it is uh, the hardest. <laughs> the effects of uh, this pedal but you might hear it it does have some noise and that ain't too great my other pedals didn't have any noise but now this is in the chain I have got noise everywhere so uh, I don't think this uh, power supply is very good it also consumes a lot so I have got my special uh, isolated power plants over here but uh, those only give 500 milliamps per port and that's not enough for this so uh, you need to use the power adapter that uh, came with it or have better isolated uh, power plants so uh, let's try the second port so again metronome I am uh, trying to make it as simple as possible so it can uh, learn its 
as easy as possible. If you make it too complicated, it will not give a good result. So. Another thing that is very important, so this knob is to make the bass more simple, so uh, when it is playing something too weird, you can like this, it goes oh, oh, no. from there to there. It's not good. So let's try to play it like it is normally. So now I have got these two parts, let's program them, so sequence 1, 2, 3, and let's play this part. And I've got the solo parts too. There is one more part. So that is. So let's play that part. Again, use the metronome.
this song, so now we can finish it. So let's press sequence and to delete the sequence we keep it pressed and now we press so this is the first the second then this then this then this then this then the solo no i was wrong So we first have got two times this, then this, then this, then this, then this, then again the intro, then the solo, then this, and then this. So that should be it. Let's try it. It ain't perfect, but it does work uh, pretty well. I've got a much better version of this uh, on my other SD card, but we now did it in uh, 10 minutes, so let's try. Oh. instead of one time but well you see how it works let me turn this off so I think I've showed you all the functions of this you can also uh, connect it to a computer so it has got a USB port for that um, further on yeah I like it a lot uh, maybe you can see it I enjoy it a lot it is sometimes hard to find the correct parts uh, to play because if you play something too uh, complicated it will not work very well so you have to search a bit what part uh, is best so it is best to play normal full chords uh, certainly when you do pop songs uh, just do the full chords uh, instead of uh, so play the full chords instead of a lick uh, with licks it will not work very well so just play chords and it works great so uh, I've already recorded a few songs with it you can watch them uh, and I will record a lot more songs so please subscribe to my channel if you like this so uh, thank you all for watching see you all later bye